In Obsidian, notes are written in a lightweight markup language called Markdown. And when it comes right down to it, slide presentations are just like notes. They might be in a certain format, but they are still text and image based, and their purpose is also to share and communicate information. I often talk about Obsidian in the context of creating notes, but did you know that you can actually use Obsidian to create full presentations as well? It's easier than you think. Hi, I'm Nicole van der Hoeven, and on this channel, I talk about different ways that I min max my life, including digital tools like Obsidian. In this particular video, I'm talking about how to create full presentations in Markdown using Obsidian's Advanced Slides plugin. Giving talks and presentations is a big part of my day job as a developer advocate. Dobry dzień. So having a system that is repeatable and streamlined for reducing the time between creating content and sharing it is really important to me. The old traditional way of doing this was using PowerPoint. Now, most people now use Google Slides, but it's still not great because it's still tied to Google and maybe some people don't want to use Google or don't have a Google account. And then I found something called Reveal.js, which is an HTML presentation framework for creating presentations. I really like it because with HTML, you can just put your presentation up online on any site and people don't have to sign up for an account or download a program just to be able to see your slides. This is the way that I've been using for the last six months or so, and I even wrote a blog post about how I set it up. But the feedback from that post was that if you don't know how to code, it can be a little tricky because you need to install something that will convert from the Markdown format into the HTML format, and then you have to publish it. So it's, it's a little bit tricky there. Now there is a plugin that just completely simplifies all of that and does the exporting for you. And it's called Advanced Slides. Advanced Slides is a free community plugin for Obsidian that makes it easy to create presentations and easy to share them. The advantage of this approach over the Google Slides approach is that you don't have to create an account or download an app, but also that your slides are literally notes in your Obsidian Vault. And so creating presentations is just as easy as writing notes like in a word processor. So let's install the Advanced Slides plugin. This is the vault that's available on my Patreon, but you can install this on your own vaults by going to settings, community plugins, make sure safe mode is off, and then hit browse here, and then type advanced slides. Select that, install it. After you see successfully installed, then go ahead and hit enable. Now, if you wanted to change any of the settings, you can go into options here. So you don't really need to change any of these settings, but I already have this going on a different vault. So I'm going to change this port here th to 3001. And I'm also going to change the export directory to presentations export. And then I'll exit out of that. I don't have a presentations folder yet, so I'm going to create that right now. Presentations here. And then within that, folder, I'm going to create a note, my new presentation. And to create the new presentation, I just need to put in a title. So I'll type my new presentation and then type in three dashes and that'll become a horizontal rule. Now I'm going to hit command P to get to the command pane, or you can do control P if you're not on a Mac like I am and then type in advanced slides and I'm going to select show slide preview, or you can also use the hotkey. And there's already a presentation just here that has like these navigational buttons as well. So let's do, this is the second slide and it changes while I'm typing, which is really cool. I can do any of the markdown headings as well. This is the second heading and this is the third heading and that's what it looks like on the slide and then on the preview i can also go back this is the title for the presentation and i can navigate now if i want to i can also do vertical slides rather than just horizontal so to do that i just need to type two of these dashes rather than the three this is a vertical slide and i'll do another one just to show it off 
this is another vertical side. If we go to the, the top of the presentation when we navigate to the right, instead of having something to go to the right, there's an arrow to go down. So then when you click on that, it kind of scrolls up and now the vertical, the first vertical slide is shown and then the second one. Now we can add images to this presentation as well. So let me create another horizontal slide with the three dashes here. So I've already copied an image and I'm just going to hit Command V here, or you can right click and paste. And here is the image. This is actually one of my D&D characters. Right now it looks like it's not properly sized, so I can change that. I'm going to hit the pipe character and then maybe I'll do 600. And now it's a little bit smaller. Now, If I want to, I can make this image the background for this slide. To do that, I'll type the left arrow, an exclamation point, and then two dashes and then I'll type slide and it's already helping me like I can already choose between these things on the menu but I'll type background bg equals in within the quotes I'm going to search for that image that I wanted and then I'll close it so dash dash and this time right arrow to close it and now instead of it being an image that's embedded into the slide the entire background of that slide is this image to try that out I'll have a heading here that says test and that's showing up on top of the background image now a common thing to want to do in a presentation is to have a speaker's note so that you don't forget what you're supposed to be saying about a slide. To do that by default, you can type out note and then anything that you put after that till the end of the slide is going to be hidden. So I'll say this is a speaker's note. And as you see, that doesn't come up here because it's supposed to be something that only you can see. To show you that, I'm going to show off another feature called Open in Browsers. This is the slide preview that automatically adjusts when you change something, and it's good for when you're creating the presentation, but eventually you may want to hit Open in Browser, and that opens up a separate browser window here with your presentation. So now you can use the arrow keys to navigate it, and it's the same one that we've seen. Then we can hit S, so just click anywhere and then click S on the keyboard and it brings up this other window. And the idea is that this is the window that you're supposed to pipe out to an external monitor or this is the screen that you're sharing. And then you also have this other window that nobody else can see but you. And it has the same presentation that's on there, but when you click on here and then hit these arrows or on the arrow on your keyboard, then it changes not just here, but also there. So this is your view of things. And it also shows you what's coming next. So here are our vertical slides. And this is the one where I put a speaker note. This is something that won't show up for anybody but you. So this is a really cool feature. And for speakers, I think it's pretty much a must. Even if you don't write it out word for word, I like to put like bullet points or something just so I know what I'm going to say next. Now, if I want to animate things within the slide, like I don't want the entire slide to show up right away, I want maybe just a title and then I want to go through a bulleted list. Let's do that with a title and then Let's say this is item one, and then this is item two. Then I can make each of these bolted items a what's called an element. So I'm just pasting something here, which identifies this part as an element that is of a type fragment. And then I'll say that the fragment index is one. I'm gonna paste this here too, except this one will be number two. So let's see what that looks like. On the slide preview, there's the title here, and then I can hit the right arrow, and then I can talk about item one. This is this first item, but really the important thing is item two. So then you have everything in one slide, but then they show up at different times. Now, if I want to change the theme, I can add something to the beginning here, just as front matter. Advanced slides comes with a few themes by default. So let's try solarized, for example. And now everything in the presentation has changed. So that applies to all of the slides. If I type white, it's just a very plain slide. This is what blood looks like. Kind of like how this looks, honestly. <laughs> Let's just stick to simple. So I already showed you that you can open it up on your browser and then you can reload to see any changes that you've made. 
But this isn't something that you can easily share because it's only hosted on your local computer. So now, if you go to options here for the slide preview, you have export as HTML and print presentation. Now you can print it to a physical printer, but I usually use this option for printing to a PDF. After it loads, you'll see a bit of a preview here. Obviously it won't be animated because it's just gonna be static PDF, but things like the images are still going to appear. You can save this to a PDF. Now this is what it's going to look like in the PDF version. So all the slides are going to be there and the image background is there too. So this was the slide where we had some animated elements but now it's going to be displayed as three different slides. So then as people scroll to the next slides, it'll appear like it's animated, but they're actually static slides in a PDF. The other option is to export as HTML. Now this is why I changed that option earlier so that it always exports in presentations slash export but you can put it really wherever you want. And this exported HTML has everything, including any images that you embedded like this one here. Once the presentation is in HTML, then from there you can copy and paste it over to your site. Or what I do is that directory, the export folder, already is part of my static site. I use a static site generator called Hugo, but this'll work with anything that can handle HTML. If you'd like to see how this all works in action, I just did a presentation last week for the Linking Your Thinking conference about processing your notes and actually making stuff out of them. It was a bit meta because I talked about creating the presentation in the presentation and I used the advanced slides plugin for that. So if you want to check out my slides, look here. And if you want to see the final video for that presentation, Nick Milo posted it over here. It's all free to watch, so enjoy. Kusanam, thank you for watching.